The power of our words and emotions upon plants and all living things. What you're about to see is the impact of words and emotions on plants. It was created by IKEA as part of their Stop Bullying campaign and it really is quite powerful and is something that you can recreate yourself at home and there are many other examples of people who've done similar experiments on YouTube. Nobody likes you. No one notices when you're in the room. You're a mistake. You're useless. You're not even green. You look rotten. Are you really even alive? I like you the way you are. Seeing you blossom makes me happy. You're making a difference in the world. You are beautiful. I brought them here to see the plant. I was like, a plant is getting bullied. Like, it's not normal. I think it's an excellent project to have something tangible that they can actually physically be a part of is, I think, going to be very powerful. As the weeks passed, I started noticing that the one that was being bullied uh, started kind of to droop. While the plant that was being complimented, it was, it was flourishing and beautiful. Plant, it can definitely affect other people. And the reason for that video, as I'm sure you've worked out, is that you know, it's the impact of words on seemingly inanimate objects who can't verbalize a response. And obviously the idea of this or the implication behind this is that our words to each other as human beings also have the same kind of impact on us. So very powerful. So next time you feel like some, saying something nice to your plants, remember they love the emotion behind positive vibes like we all do. So there is nothing going, there is nothing wrong with going into your garden or sitting next to your pot plant and rubbing the leaves, tickling the flowers and telling the flower or the plant what a wonderful plant it is.